Hi guys, welcome to iCube Design Studio. In this video, I will show you how to change this copper clad board into an industrial PCB. We have already uploaded a video on making PCB using screen printing method. In this video, I will show you how to make a PCB an easier manner on your home. Let's start the process. So, the material required for making this process are copper clad board, normal iron box, steel roller, permanent marker, a piece of sandpaper, ferric chloride, you can use both solid or liquid type, a plastic tray, do not use metal because it may cause chemical reaction during the process, and a glossy paper, you can use a magazine paper if it has glossy coating. First we have to print the circuit design on the glossy paper. So let's take a paper from the magazine. We have already created the design of the PCB. The link of this design is given in the description. While taking print, use only laser jet printer for printing. Yes, the design is clear and ready. We got the design exactly as we designed on the glossy paper. We have to transfer the design to copper clad board. There may have irregularity in the clad board. So we have to clean the surface of clad board using sandpaper. Yes, we got smooth and finished surface. Let's place them over the printed design. While placing the clad board, Ensure it cover the design completely. We have to heat for transferring the design from paper to the cladboard. We can use an iron box for that. Move the iron box constantly for better heat transfer. Continue the heating process until the design is visible on the outer side of the paper. So let's remove the paper from the clad board. Paper will be sticky on the board. So we have to use some water for removing the paper from the clad board. Yes. We got the design of the clad board. Still, we can see some small voids in the design. We have to fill it. For that, we have to dry the clad board first. The color of the design will change after drying. Don't worry, it is a part of the process. We can use a permanent marker for filling the voids in the design on the clad board. Please remember to use only permanent marker for this process. Yes, it's done. The trace is perfect. The next step is to dip the board in the ferric chloride solution. Ferric chloride will dissolve the non-coated area on the clad. For that, we have to dilute the concentrated ferric chloride in the plastic tray. And let's place the board on it. Gently shake the tray side to side until the copper dissolves in the spheric chloride solution. We can see the copper being dissolved, leaving only the trace behind. After few minutes, we can see that the copper is completely dissolved except in the printed area. Let's wash the board with running water. After that, we can remove the ink from the board using a scrubber, revealing the copper trace. Be careful, do not damage the copper trace while using the scrubber. We have completed the etching process and the PCB is ready. Let's fill the hole for placing the component.
the components list for this project is given in the description solder the components and the circuit board is ready yes we have successfully soldered all the components on the pcb let's connect the pcb to the 12 volt adapter yes it works well thanks for watching this video if you like this video please do like share and comment and do not forget to subscribe this channel